Uh, the first thing I do when I look at an energy drink or or a um, or like a pre workout or whatever, I will um, I'll try and figure out how much caffeine is in here, right? Do you sleep on it? I'm gonna try to sleep on it. Uh, I'll definitely try. <laughs> Coffee, coffee, I'm usually okay. I can drink, if as long as I, as long as I'm up, like two, if I don't drink coffee, <laughs> whoa, clearly I need this energy drink right now. As long as I don't drink coffee within like two, three hours of sleeping, I'm okay. But I can drink a coffee right now at almost eight o'clock at night and go to bed at like 11 or 12 and I'll be fine. But this is my biggest pet peeve and it's when it's when they, they like hide the caffeine in a blend. So it doesn't tell you how much caffeine is in there. It literally just says, uh, let me find it here. Right here. This is my big, can you guys read that? You probably can't even read it. Oh, you probably can't read it. Anyways, it's like, it's like a pro proprietary blend. And they'll say, oh, this proprietary blends like 1500 milligrams. But then like how much of that is caffeine? Damn, you can read it? Can you? So it says, uh, nootropic blend. Anyway, so maybe someone can research this and tell me how much caffeine's in here. Otherwise I'm probably gonna go ballistic. Stop shaking. <laughs> Clearly I shouldn't have this. I've already had too much caffeine. Is that legal to not disclose caffeine amount? Maybe maybe they get by because it's a supplement. It's like a pre-packaged one, you know? Like for, I don't know. Maybe if you bought this at a store, they have to. Uh, I can't stand blends and pre-workouts or supplements for that matter. Yeah, big chicken nuggy, that's exactly right. Dude, some of these pre-workouts these days are freaking ridiculous, man. Um, I remember like, I, I, I bought C4 a while ago and it was like, one scoop of C4 was almost 400 milligrams of ca caffeine. Like, what am I trying to do here? Have you tried the Enrage? I, I, dude, I have tried Enrage. I used to, I think I've tried Enrage. So back in the day when I was in my like, when I was like the most cut, the most jacked, I I took Jacked, which was, it was Jack 3D is how it was, how it was spelled. And dude, that shit had 1,3 dimeth in it, which is basically like meth. <laughs> And it's banned now, but um, they would sell that on the shelves. And I would, and I took it along with all my other friends in high school. And that shit, literally, you like, you take the pre workout and you're like, I, I need to go lift something up. Like, give me something to lift up. I want to lift it up and put it down. <laughs> like, where's, give me a car. I want to lift up a car. Like, it literally made you just like go ape shit. Um, but then, like, the worst part about it was like the come down. The come down was actually pretty bad on it. Like, afterwards, you just feel pretty shitty. Cause you're, it goes like straight peak and then trough. <laughs> so C4 makes my face tingle. Yes. All those, uh, all those blood vessel expanders or whatever. <laughs> Supposedly a hundred milligrams in this. Okay. We should be okay then. We should be okay. You know, if, if it gets too hectic, you know, we can always, we can always end stream early. <laughs> but, um, oh, my face cam is actually <laughs> My top down is, uh, I can't go this far now. Wow. <laughs> because it's the good shit, right? Orange slices. Dude, I'm down for some freaking orange slices. I'm not going to purge my cookies, history, and temperate internet files. <laughs> Yo. Anytime there's a proprietary blend, nine times out of ten, it's just them cheaping out on ingredients. You can reverse engineer supplements. True. Have you tried gorilla mode? <laughs> I have not. So, all of the stim-free... All of the stim free um, pre workouts, aka like no caffeine. I don't. I don't know if it's a um, if it's like a placebo or or it's in my head or I'm biased. I don't know, but I just feel like I don't get as good of a workout. I need caffeine. <laughs> just be like Geo and do 300 push ups, dude. I always wanted to do a push up redeem, but my bed was straight behind me. So I like unless I do push ups on the bed, which that's kind of psychotic. Uh, to do on stream, I couldn't do them, so I might I might add a little add a push up redemption, and I can do them right here on the floor, I suppose. 
chug a rain and you're good to go yo i want to try g fuel i know Lan i know dalton loves g fuel stim free is just vasodilators right 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 sometimes i'll just take coffee if i don't feel like taking a, a pre-workout man sports game day had it as well when they formulated to another similar adderall salt i can't do a full scoop of pre-workout so the um what's the pre-workout i have right now it's from Bear Labs or something like that. It's It ends up being, I think it's like two, 250 milligrams per scoop. So I end up taking like half to two thirds of a scoop every time. Honestly, the ghost energy drinks are pretty legit. I've seen those. I haven't tried them. Are those the Rhino Pills? <laughs> this, this does look like the Rhino Pills from the gas station. <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> that is funny. All right, I'm gonna get these out of here before someone gets the wrong impression. <laughs> They're always in like the clear cabinet right there and you're like, you're, you're like checking out with your like Gatorade and your like candy and you look at that and you're like, do people actually buy this shit? <laughs> I love, I love how they're called rhino pills though. Like, like that is so freaking classic. Like why, why rhino? You know you have. Don't play it off. Okay, bud. I take these caffeine mints now. It saves time. There's like caffeine mints. There's caffeine gum. There's like even like drops, right? So um, I just, I, I think for me, I love coffee so much that anytime I see caffeine outside of coffee, I just wish I was drinking coffee because I love coffee that much. Amino energy is, is I was using amino energy for the longest time, longest time. Tastes pretty good. I think I like the orange. I had the orange one. I like the orange one. That one's good. Um, but, uh, I think I ended up doing like two or three scoops of that one. It wasn't too crazy. I think you can go up to like five or six on that one. So anyways, um, yeah, so this is the, uh, Mechworks Kiku. Pretty solid, but I wanted to show you guys the the stickers I got that was from this booth, right? So Charu Design was there. They're, they made the uh, the switches, the Texi switches, the long poles that are in here. These are pretty cool stickers. I like these. It's Kiko. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I have a tendency to mispronounce items. <laughs> yeah, I know Charu has a bunch of... Uh, I... I like, I'll be honest with you guys, I, I know keyboard drama because people tell me. Like, I didn't, I, did, I had no idea. I built a Sunsetter, like, Sad Toro gave me his Sunsetter, like, freaking, what was it, like a year ago? Over a year ago? I don't even think the board was out yet. And um, that's all I really know about True Design. They had a booth at Twitch Con, um, which gave me the idea. I would love to have an NRD booth there next year, so I might work on that. But, um, but, um, I did hear that they have, they're having some issues with the Sunsetter right now. I don't personally know, like, anyone that bought one. All I know is, like, in their Discord, a bunch of people are complaining about Anno. Go figure. <laughs> so they, they sent me those. Sad Turtle actually sent me some stickers, which were pretty funny. <laughs> Definitely a Sad Turtle. You would sell out at TwitchCon if you had a booth. So my, my thing is, I want, um, I, I want to have enough products to like warrants a booth at TwitchCon. So I, I would want at least like five or 10 products to bring. I think that'd be cool. I was even thinking of doing like a, like a TwitchCon uh, edition like nest, right? So having like, like a Twitch purple nest with like maybe like a black and white infill or something like that. I don't know, we'll figure it out. But Windex is coming out with an F, a round two FRL 1800. Yo, nice. I think that was the orange board that Alex built, right? Did you hear about the injuries from the foam pit? Dude, I know, right? So I actually saw that foam pit when I was at TwitchCon. And I like I thought to myself, like, I get what they're trying to do with the foam pit, but like you're just asking for trouble. Like, like why why even incorporate that here right now? You know what I mean? Like it doesn't add that much benefit. There's so much stuff going on. And um What's her first name again? Chet chick, uh, I'm acting like I don't, I know her name, I just forgot it. 
<laughs> when are you not getting when are you getting one for keyboards what do you mean adriana yes <laughs> i knew you're gonna say that come on i need i need my gamer fuel right now okay dude i can't think straight anyways um yeah she